interesting. But anyway, uh, we're speaking about genius today and just to bring it into context, I'll speak a little bit about my uh, career journey and what we're utilizing now to shift that. So uh, as an activator, career or genius is last on my list of priorities, which doesn't mean that it's not important. It just means a whole lot of other things need to be in place before I can be successful in implementing changes around my career um, or expanding my career. So just to give a little bit of background, a bit of context, I graduated as an XI scientist in early 2000s, went straight into work um, as a PT, um, very quickly went into management. I was a regional personal tra training manager and had four teams I was managing then went into training and facilitating the training for all the man for all of the PTs. We had Les Mills body trainers. So I facilitated the, the training to license them as body trainers and then all of the sales and marketing and management and practical training for them. Uh, then left that place, went on to do more PT, eventually opened my own studio and then got a divorce. <laughs> had to sell my house, move, and still did some work in PT, but started trying other things uh, so that I could be more present as a mother because I was a single parent then. Uh, still went back and did a couple of postgrads to try to further my career. Um, it proved to be too stressful. And once my hair started falling out with my second attempt at a postgrad in exercise rehab, due to other, due to other coinciding personal things, I decided to stop trying to pursue my career and focus on being a mother. And I started a domestic personal, a domestic cleaning business. And then last year I was offered the opportunity to start working in the health and fitness industry again in the area of corporate health. I said, yes, came across PA360, loved it. That opportunity hasn't worked out. And now I'm moving on to more facilitating and more corporate health. And so in order for me to successfully start to take action in my life, because I have a tendency to be a little bit ectomorphic about things and overthink and not take action, which is actually against my biology. So what happens when I go against my biology is I step out of flow. So in order for me to work on my career, I've had to go to my first three priorities. The number one was fitness. So once I realized I could work on my hormones through fitness to improve my feelings of biological safety, which is what we all need to feel safe in the world. Um, I started doing that. I'm now working on food, but before I started working more on food, I, I realized I needed to work more on my social aspects. Um, I can be fairly introverted because of that little ectomorphic part of me. However, it's not great for me to excel as a human if I'm not socially integrating with people who I find inspiring or maybe spark the competitive nature that I naturally have. So we've worked on those top three priorities. Well, I've worked on those top three priorities for my career. And so the point of us speaking about this today is to understand that the importance of the priorities and then to go into the career section or the, the genius section and just reflect on it. I'll go through mine a little bit, reflect on it. Then we'll look at Shana's as well, because we'll speak about just how we have different styles, how we work with each other, what we consider while we're looking at career. And then we'll invite you to do the same, to go through yours and do the same. Uh, so just looking at mine, um, I actually follow the chronobiology. I shared that then, didn't I? Yeah, cool. And so, I will get up at six o'clock. I walk, I breathe. I kind of prioritize here. This is where I do things that have to get done, but I pretty much get my son ready for school and myself ready to start work as soon as possible. So I'll sit in the front of the computer as soon as possible because that's when I get the bulk of my workout. So by about one o'clock, I'll eat and then I'll go do something active and I'll get stuff done. I may do some other sort of work in the afternoon, but nothing too challenging. I get it all done in the morning because that's when my, the, my brain is most active. And so then when, this is where I'll bring Shana into it a little bit because her knowledge of this helps us together, working together. 
which is actually really cool. So both of us will have this, um, both of us has this statement here. I might feel pressured to achieve a desired status. As a result, I may persevere until I find work that is meaningful to me. Fortunately, both of us has found work that is meaningful to us. I persevered until I found it. So I did relent for a little bit because I was emotionally and physically and all the types of exhaustion you could imagine. And I have to be there for my child. So I relented for a bit, but then as soon as I found something, I'm just at it again with the knowledge that I can get so mentally focused that I will self-sacrifice to get what I want or to get there. I cannot afford to do that because I have a dependent. So I'm very wary of that now as things are expanding. So this is where these statements are all really useful. They say here, I enjoy communicating, guiding and persuading people. I enjoy teaching. So teaching and have people understand what I'm teaching it gets a dopamine going in my brain. It's a really important thing for me to integrate. Um, if I have to go into too much detail, it's not a great idea. It's best for us to outsource if, that's, if that is the type of thing that um, we need done. Um, both Shana and I have statements similar to this. Shana states she's a natural leader. Mine says that um, I may challenge leader, I uh, may cha challenge authority figures. So, with us both understanding this about each other, and Shana will expand on this further, we really respect that each other will have this tendency, not only this tendency. Shana's, I think, says she doesn't like to be told what to do because she's confident that she knows what to do, and she is. So, if I get that sense from her, normally it's because she is confident in what she's doing. Um, but both of us are aware that we need to give each other space and consider each other's approach to things and not be stuck on our way of doing it because we'll butt heads and we never butt heads. And that simply comes from awareness due to growing up and being grown-ups, um, but also awareness of each other. Mm. Um, this one was a really interesting one. I may be best in a career that allows me to be energetic, uh, ambitious and action orientated. That is developing. And because that was not overly present, it indicated that there was some emotional, other emotional things to be worked through that can be strengthened by working in my area of social connection, which was really interesting as well to me. Mm -hmm. Um, and Shana can expand on this further as well. And the reason we're going through this is just so you can start to work through yours. And I'm assuming, EJ, you're probably pretty good with this. But when you really start to look at it, even though career is my last, last priority, it's really important to me. But I see how I can bring all the other parts of my profile in to help me because we live an integrated life. We don't separate career from mind function and, and it's not separate to your social life. It's all integrated. Um, also, I, I may not like leaving things up to chance. So this week, what Shana and I are doing, and this is one of Shana's strengths when we go into her mind section is, and it would probably be one of yours too, EJ, is seeing the big picture, working out how to get there and the final details and the steps. So even though I don't like being told what to do, I am just doing what I'm told because I respect that Shana has this really great skill and a knack for knowing what to do in business. It says it in her profile that I'm like, okay, I'll just do what you say. <laughs> this is the genius about, um, for those who are entrepreneurs like EJ, I know you do a lot of group, um, you do a lot of work in with other people. It's a really cool tool for those that you're working with in your family, in your business, in your entrepreneurial expansion to profile the people you're working with yeah. um, even simply because what you can then do is you can then integrate each other's profiles and understand the language and the drive between you yeah. because Sage and I met on a project and a project that should have, could have, would have become very, very uh, intertwined with this and could have given everyone the opportunity to understand this at a complete depth and it didn't, that opportunity gave Sage and I the light bulb to realize that this is the missing link that a lot of uh, relationships, um, companionships, business um, 
uh, business collaborations are missing is the factor of knowing the individual and their strengths and their um, particulars and how you can work together. So I know that Sage sometimes needs to speak and because I'm a diplomat, I can hold the space for her to have her idea, flow her creation and then assimilate where that fits into the bigger picture. Mm. And vice versa, Sage knows that if I have too much going on, I will go into a meltdown because I've got too many projects. Now, how many of the diplomats in the group watching this replay are prone to having meltdowns and overloads and um, losing it because we want to do everything and yet we're not getting anywhere because we are compiling too many things. When you come back to your profile, you can actually see clearly within these statements and say, as you pointed out brilliantly before, that there was a few statements that you knew within yourself, you weren't actually um, doing or feeling like you matched. And that's because like she said, there were other priorities that needed to be sorted out before that one became compatible. So coming yeah. back to priorities is king. Chrono is king, but so is your priorities. <laughs> queen. You can say it's queen. Queen. <laughs> your priorities, your queen, is because um, these other things may come out and whatever's coming up for you in the priorities, and I know there's a couple of people that will watch this and feel like they can go through their statements and their sections and not completely match with some of the statements, and that's potentially because there's another part of alignment in the rest of your priorities that hasn't really clicked in yet, to enable you to really own that powerful part of yourself, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. That's huge. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So if, if at this point, EJ, did you look through your, um, I'm also side note, just to disclo disclaimer here. I'm day four of de uh, detox. I can't even say it. I can't even say the words. Da -da. So, <laughs> And it's night time. The activator brain, as we saw before, is not overly. What time is it? I don't know. So around six o'clock. Oh, innovate. Innovate. I'm yeah, normally no, no. creating dinner around this time. So yeah, it's not highly mentally uh, capable at this point in time. But uh, yeah, is there anything? Did you look through yours and consider any of it? I think career is number two for you, though, isn't it? Yeah. And this is the thing diplomats this is a really important conversation for the fact that we have 70% diplomats in this group is that your career statements um, are the backbone of who you are as a diplomat. Mm. And if there are elements of your career that haven't been matched, like Sage and I are uh, excited fizzing over a, a new little mini experiment we're doing is the fact that I've now quit and I'm now going to be fully sustained moving house to a new environment. And we're really excited to see how the diplomat goes in complete flow of lifestyle. I now have no excuse to not honor, yeah, crap, no excuse to not honor my biology completely. And this will be a really interesting thing to see how I go with eating cravings. Like, Tonight, you guys might have seen I did a, some brownies today and I actually sat there and had a massive feast of, of dessert tonight. Curious, I actually went through that process and felt into it and when I'm moving, everything's about to become shifted. Nothing's now, nothing has a place right now. So as a diplomat, not to give me a cop out, but I was aware of those emotions that came up very quickly and the reactivity, my natural behavior to reach for food to feel safe. Mm. Because my whole environment is now currently not safe. Yeah. Even yeah, though we're really, going on to bigger, better things. Yeah. We're really going to observe what happens to the eating habits as the environment changes and you feel more in control of your career. Yeah. EJ, would you re resonate with that? That when you feel like your environment's not safe, eating becomes something that's less obtainable to control? Um, oh, that's a good question. I'm just trying to think when I feel my environment's not safe. Well, um, for you, maybe safe might not be the word. Um, when you don't have control of your time frames and your schedule. Oh, yeah, so when I have control, when I don't have control of my time frames and schedule, yeah, yeah. totally, because I just be all over the place. Mm. 
Yeah, yeah. Totally. And food creates that common that common feeling of yeah. I'm, I, I eat so I feel like I'm safe in the fact that I don't actually know what's going on right now because someone else is dictating my time or something. Yeah. Yes. I think the food, I had a discussion with the diplomat, my diplomat friend yesterday, and she's just really upset about a lot of things and she was eating and I just was, I just said to her, when you're upset about a few things and you're not in control of it, like food always is an enjoyment and you go back to it because it's something that you can have to help you to feel good. And I was like, just give yourself a break. You're going through a tough time. Don't worry about mm -hmm. it. <laughs> and so, you, yeah. have you noticed EJ when that when that has happened before have you ever noticed that um the thoughts that come up do you become do you go do you feel like you go into guilt and judgment or anger when I'm not able to eat healthy do you mean yeah yeah uh, when you're in the uncertainty uh, and your guilt. guilt okay yeah yeah do you find that that leads to more uh, careless behavior or more uh, seeking um, comfort? Mm, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. Yep. And we'd love to hear from anyone yeah. who's watching this, just, just to, to hone in on that. Because like I said, we have got about 70% endos in uh, diplomats and guardians in here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, even Jody, hopefully Jody will be watching this too. Jody Parker's just joined. So, um, because Diplo. of yeah, Diplo, uh, two eighty five. Cool. A Diplo diva, a hundred percent. Um, <laughs> and diplo completely, completely. And, and here she, she is. is. Oh wow! <laughs> she did that. You just made it. Yeah. weird. Hi, Jody. <laughs> I was just saying yeah, how just talking oh, about she's, you. She's just connecting her audio. There she is. Oh. We were literally just talking about you, Angel, saying we've got a another diplo coming in. Woohoo. Hi. Hi. Yay. So we were just discussing um, emotional reactivity as a diplomat and how our well, today's topic is genius. And Sage was just sharing her story of how her genius has affected her as an activator. Um, I don't even know what, what time is it now? 20 minutes. I'll mark down 20 minutes for you so that when you get the recording, you can just skim the first 20 minutes to catch up and then you won't have to worry about the rest because you're on. <laughs> but yeah, really in the context of um, how priorities will influence the genius or your work. Your work However, yes. with the diplomat, um, genius is number two. So just how, I don't know how we got onto that, how we got onto food. I think because if genius and as priorities, if your place and your genius are not in, in um, alignment. alignment, the food will go out. Yeah. Mm. But if we want to bring it back to genius, um, if EJ had any... How do I... How do I find my order on the... I just have gone into the... Um, online how do i find the order of my things again like is there somewhere on there that i go to me like where i know what the priorities that's a, are that's what the coaching tool is that we create really is we give you guys an understanding as coaches as to which they are i think i've sent it to you before but i'm more than happy to send it again um yeah, that'd be great. jody you would have received that document today from me um with the diplomat priorities EJ, I'll let you continue on um, Sage. I'll just quickly send that through to EJ. Yeah, cool. Oh, awesome. Um, yeah, did you look through that section, look through your genius or your talent section? Jody. Jody or EJ. Me? Or EJ, yep. Yeah. yeah. About a year ago I did. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm looking at it right now in front of me. Totally fine. Yeah. Um, and you could even send your details to Shana and she can pull it up. And if you want to, just go through them and see what 
what parts are you adhering to? What are you? Oh, Shani, you want me to send you the details? Um, no, no, no. I can access yours either way. Um, yeah and see your profile. So basically in this section, the real aim is to look through the statements and find what is resonating with you and what are you not yet resonating? And just to quickly cap for Jody and, and rehash on the conversation is, is in these sections, there are statements that you're going to go, Oh yeah, I'm already doing that. And then there's going to be statements where you're like, Oh, well, uh, I sort of do that or I don't quite get how that's relevant or I don't quite match with that. And Sage and I were talking before about the fact that quite often a statement may not seem like it is you or is your lifestyle, but that can quite often come because there's other priorities that need to be dealt with mm -hmm. to enable you to fully encompass this one statement that is your truth. Yeah. Right. So um, for Sage, she's got hers up on the screen here as an activator. So Sage is a direct opposite to you and to all of us. Um, mm. She's our beautiful, we, we call each other our shadows um, <laughs> because <laughs> activators are the inner shadow of a, of a diplomat in many ways. Um, and so for Sage, she's, she's wonderful at being, uh, action orientated and ambitious and energetic um, and she needs a career that does that but um, like at the moment we're in the building crunch phase of creating the content and Sage actually has we can see in many of the statements that many of them are more ectomorphic um, very much think yeah. analytical know all of the detail yeah that's another one there yep that's a crusader statement yeah, so she's a deep thinker, capable of discipline. She enjoys being busy and devoted to a project and sometimes beyond my capabilities, I may be deeply disappointed if I have failed. That failure can come out in different ways, but for Sage, it's the fact that she is a deep thinker, but her body needs to move. So you can see how there needs to be a really good, clear um, understanding of who she is and apparently I'm walking, who she is and um, what she needs to do in her day um, and who she is within a project. Like, so there'll be phases in, in the business where you have to do the grind, but knowing that there's the grind, but she also seeks variety and change. She needs to make sure her work might be hard, but she then has variety and change in the other parts of her life to counterbalance that requirement. Does that make sense? Went off a bit of a tangent there. Okay. <laughs> <Fifty> tangent. <laughs> Um, so I think maybe a cool one, um, who would like us to, cause you guys are diplomats, who would like us to jump into your profile and grab two statements? Let's do that. Yep. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Oh, on the buzzer. <laughs> I'm going to stop my share and just mute myself for a bit while I organize some dinner for Cuba. Yep. People. Yep. But I am yep. listening and I will interject when appropriate. I'm only going to be able to share you girls from our coaching panel. So one side's relevant to you, the other side's super sciencey and kind of brain gasmic. So um, you show how much we know about you guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm in Jane. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's go Korea, and I should be able to do both of you tonight, which is great. Let me just bring it up and share. I love Zoom. I really do. All right. So EJ will be able to follow along with her mobile on her app. She wants to have a read through. Um, I wonder if I can do this. So there we go. That makes it better. <laughs> All right. So having a look, EJ is the same as um, Sage and I. So Sage has this as her first um, statement also and it really just means we're the kind of people that have gone through life and potentially had many different roles many different careers ultimately seeking the thing that feels good all the time and I explained this briefly to Jolie today because diplomats have a limited amount of serotonin um, it's like this it's the main hormone that is like um, liquid elixir of life for us and because we have such a small amount naturally when we set out to invest in a task, an object, a person, a thing, we initially go in with it, hoping that it's going to give us a desired outcome of receiving the dopamine and the serotonin as a reward. So all these ideas, all these careers we've set out to, we're going, oh, I'm going to start being 
an Arbonne representative. I hope that gives me the people, the products, the thing, the car, the woohoo. And then you might get a bit down the track and go, oh, this isn't feeling good. I'm investing more of my time and it's taking up more of my energy. Therefore, now I am feeling threatened, like I'm not going to receive that goal. Now I need to find something else that feels like it's going to connect to my heart because diplomats and guardians are about feeling, right? Our, 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 every fiber of our being is the word feeling. So we're constantly on that mission, right? So I think all of us have got that statement. Jody, have you got that statement coming up? Um, whereabouts am I finding it? Uh, it will be in your genius section or talent. Is it the first one? It might be the first one. Is that coming up saying the same thing for yours? I might feel pressure to achieve. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And it's funny how each and every one of us is an entrepreneur creating amazing things in the world and potentially been through many different roles and careers. I like that statement because for entrepreneurs, it's one of those ones that really gives us that approval for being the incredible creator that we are. And I think you guys have all, we've all tapped into the human design conversation of late as well. And I think that mm. comes up to each of us. Here yeah. you go. Um, the second one is I may generally enjoy, actually EJ, is there anything particular in your statements that you don't resonate with or you overly resonate with? <laughs> the second one. The second I, don't, one. <laughs> I don't resonate with that. Like, I may generally enjoy learning about and occupying my mind with scientific or comprehensive topics. What is it about that one you don't feel connected to? The scientific. I don't really know what it means by comprehensive, but... It will be ah. something like um, diplomats are normally interested in something else that, like for some of them, it'll be like tinkering in cars or astrology and astronomy like there'll be some other obscure interest that you just every one of every one of ej's modalities what is it based around i don't know <laughs> um... emotional anatomy anatomy human conditioning the mind the emotions that's the same science can yeah, be any of those it. things yeah, yeah. Right. and you are yes you are so invested and you are so like all, show me, feel me, give me all of the elements of that, right? Mm. Exactly what a scientist would do in a lab is they sit there and they pull apart all the different elements of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. That makes sense. Yep. Yeah. This is why we like coaching. Anything else that comes up for you that you do or do not? Um, discerning patterns, both visual and abstract. What does that mean? Okay, so um, when you are working with your client, you hear them in their story and you, I'm only doing this because I referenced both of your work. You hear them in your story and you, they will be speaking the word. Oh, yeah. What is your mind doing? I'm recognizing your pattern. Yep, yep, yep. 500%. Yeah. And, and the thing is someone like Sage would hear me say, the cat sat on the mat and she'd be like, well, that's just stupid. Why would the cat sit on the mat? Whereas... EJ would be like, what kind of a cat was it? And, and isn't it weird how the cat chooses to sit on that mat considering the cat hates that mat and that's bizarre that the cat's now sitting yeah. there. What is it? What is the subconscious belief that it's, <laughs> that it's running? Is this a pattern? Yes. Uh, Whereas Sage's mind would need, and Sage, I'm only, I'm not bullying Sage. I'm just using Sage as a perfect reference right now. Whereas Sage would go, that makes no sense. Why is it? And she has a very ectomorphic brain. So she'd go, why is the mat in the room? Like, tell me about the mat. Why would the cat, what does the cat normally do? Why would that be a strange thing that the cat would potentially be sitting there? So she needs a logical, sequential, organized understanding of why that is, because otherwise it makes no sense to her. Yeah. Right. Must have been really attracted to the mat for some reason from its childhood. So you'd be like, the person's allergic to cats. Why is the cat inside? <laughs> <sighs> EJ, while I was scrolling through Instagram the other day, I came across Seb and he mentioned you, but he didn't tell you. Yeah, yeah he, he, he tagged. Well. Like, it was so random. I just like went to search something and his was on there. Yeah. I just thought I 
clicked on it and it said from love guru EJ. I was like, ah, it's EJ. And I was like, yeah. I scrolled down to see if he tagged you, but he didn't. No, he tagged me in it, like in the picture, but not in the actual, didn't tag me. I think, I don't know, I think it's a bit not, he's not too technically savvy. I don't know. Oh, okay. We may need to train him a little bit on that. Maybe he's not a diplomat. <laughs> should I ask him? Um, sorry, I just have to switch over my iPhones. No worries. My headphones to my iPhones. <laughs> um, Give me one yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, we did an interview. Um, mm, okay, so yeah, there's definitely ones I do that resonate too. Uh, yeah, I did. Hmm. You want to keep scrolling? Yeah, I'm, sc I'm scrolling. Oh, I'm looking at it on mine. <laughs> oh, cool. Perfect. Um, uh, yeah, so what if I may not talk much. <laughs> but I have a person. Well, actually, sometimes I don't talk that much. Um, but I have a strong thirst for knowledge, yeah. Oh, yeah, so I don't have any time spending time alone reading through stuff. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Yeah, I do prefer a private office where I can be undisturbed, definitely. That's actually yeah. a very big sensor trait, that one, that statement. Wouldn't you agree, Sage? So I may not talk much, but I have a strong, strong thirst for knowledge. I research uh, your field of work and may not have any problem with spending time alone and reading through the patent information. Pertinent, yeah. Yeah, that's an ecto thing for sure. So this is why everyone says, oh, but what am I? And, and how do I know what other health types I am? Sage and I then go through your statements and work out what statements are more ectomorphic, mesomorphic, and certain ones resonate with certain... It normally, the, normally the giveaway will be in the mind section, but mm -hmm. mind or genius, that'll be the giveaway as to what sort of shared traits you'll have. Yeah. Mm. So you can see how understanding this part of you, you can sort of see your strengths. And if you were EJ six years ago and you were maybe a little bit lost and not sure who and where you were to go, these sorts of statements are really good at, and enabling us to go, oh, okay, here I am jumping from job to job. Maybe I won't have so, such harsh judgment of myself and just know that I'm looking for the thing that really ticks all my boxes. Yeah. And let's go. For sure. I mean, you're pretty alert and with it now. Amazingly. Um, ah, this is what I wanted to say. Although I may prefer a, have a set routine, my work should not be too packed with deadlines. I may need a creative time to organize my activities in a unique way that works best for me. How are you going with that scheduling? Me? Yep. How am I going with my scheduling? Um, been actually not too bad this week. Um, and I think it's because I've been really, um, having some good mornings to myself which has been a Tell part of it so. well I've just been like taking my time in the mornings and having my doing my practices rather than getting straight which I was doing anyway but I've been spending even longer on it now so yeah so doing things like yoga and um gratitudes and ah, embodiment self-touch all of that, um, but spending longer on it and without my phone <laughs> distracting mm. me with notifications and stuff. So it's felt really good. Like it's felt, um, then the rest of the day has been, I feel like, I guess more easeful. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's been good. Yeah, Are you yeah. finding yourself more productive? I think even if I haven't been more productive, like I've felt more productive. <laughs> like, like I'm not so hard on myself on, oh my God, you didn't get all that shit done, you know? So it's, I'm just a bit more 
be cool on myself about it. Like I'm definitely not as putting so much pressure on myself. And how has your reading been this week as a response of that? Um, mm, well, I've only probably really had three days of good eating. Monday was not great. How bad was bad? Not that bad. I don't think I can't remember now. Not that bad. Sage would be the first person to turn around and say that diplomats and guardians can quite often be ourselves to ourselves more than anyone else. Yeah. We're really hard on ourselves. That upsets me. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Because you, you've done three days amazingly and one day you might have had a little bit of a slip up. But to recap from what I've heard is that you've honoured yourself and you feel better. Therefore, your outlook, your ex expectations and your flow in the day are naturally better because you've embraced your pace in that morning time and been away from the demands and the expectations of the media world. Um, so it doesn't matter if you're not being more productive. Ultimately, diplomats have to surrender to the fact that society is totally activate a lifestyle. And diplomats just have a different flow. Mm. We just, and we will be more productive and you will sit in the coffee shop and you will meet the right, correct person who will suddenly have the correct link to this, to that, to this, and life will suddenly flow. We are the queens of finding the correct link to fit the flow when we just let go of expectations and embrace our pace. Right. A thousand hundred percent. That is a very valuable acknowledgement for a diplomat. And I, I've seen it. I've, actually witnessed it it's incredible it makes me so excited to witness it and it blows my mind that to get into energetic flow you just embrace who you are mm. it's amazing <laughs> love it yeah it's, it's and which it also aligns with my um human design as a projector yeah. as well yeah shana and i looked ourselves up and we're projectors as well are you yeah, yeah. So Amazing. that with our North nodes and read more into it, knowing what our soul journeys are. Mm. Wow. Jody, do you mind jumping into your app? Beautiful. And up the top of the banner yep. is a pot spot that says coaching. If you just, uh, coaching, is it, um, it will say, Oh, yeah, I might even be able to just log in as you. <laughs> Google Chrome, I love you. So basically when we do coaching, there's just a pop up the top, my coaches, and it's just so that I can see you in the back end and assist you this way. So you don't have to the profile anyway, just do it that way. I totally could have. Thanks for... <laughs> it's okay. It's valuable to have the coaching. <laughs> Okay. I'm the detox one. I'm the detoxing one too. <laughs> My brain's just thinking about moving at the moment. Okay, so this is Jody. So again, the same status at the top, and I think it's actually going to be the the hierarchy hierarchy. Anyway, that word um, for all of our um, entrepreneurs will mostly have this statement. From what I've noticed, those who are more entrepreneur minded will definitely have this at the top. We are seekers. Um, so the second one, and same thing, enjoying about comprehensive topics. Diplomats are the ones you'll find that end up in the work that we're all in, in the helping, the coaching, um, the holding space for other people. Because we have the body, the capacity to hold space for other people. It's very, very common for these. That's why you, we've all got these same statements because that's the energy that we're capable of. But it's really about, and I spoke to Jody about this, is remembering as diplomats, we can never give more than 90%. So it's always about remembering how do I work on keeping my flow and embracing my pace so that I can be at a greater capacity for those in my herd, those in my community. So, Jody, do you happen to have any statements in here that you can look at now and go, yeah, nah, not really? Is there anything in there that jumps out? Um, I might not be a good fit for direct sales strategies. And how do you feel like it's not a fit for you? Because I hate sales. 
Is there a time when you had to do it? No. Great. <laughs> well, like I, when I first started my NLP and stuff, like the strategies of like the script and stuff, I hated doing it because I felt like I wasn't being authentic. But mm-hmm. when I would actually just share from my heart, it was like I got more clients that way. So I hate, like, I feel like the sales part is like, ugh. Mm, mm. It's, um, where are we? Yeah, it's it's one of those things that as a diplomat, we, we're amazing at selling with something that we wholeheartedly believe in. It's more from a storytelling and a sharing component rather than a selling component. We're naturally, I mean, yeah. I've watched both of you girls with your incredible posts and you guys are the same. It's just this natural thing that you've got, this gift of speaking the word that has the, we're like the Pied Pipers. So um, the direct sales, you are actually good at it, but it's just not in the context of the, the typical way of direct sales, if that makes sense. Yeah. 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 Like indirect sales? <laughs> yeah. It's more about creating. There's a, there's a terminology for the diplomats and it's like that we like to be heard and we need to be part of the herd. Right, so we are natural speakers, but we also want to be a part of a community and a part of a tribe, whether we're creating it or we're just a part of it. That's just a natural requirement for us. That keeps us happy and healthy. Anything else in there that pops up for you? Um, What does it mean by I may be a natural pattern seeker? easily discern patterns around me oh is that like people's patterns playing out yeah that's fine yeah yeah um yeah well that again that one like um, I may have the capacity to influ- influence and be convincing to others. So positions in sales, marketing, cons- consulting and leadership might be a good fit for me. Whereas like there I'm like, nah, I don't think that's right. But again, it's mm. just sort of kind of like the last one was about. Yeah. Yeah. That, that role, once you're in that role that you, it's like um, connect with my heart and have me stand upon the mountain and shout it to the people because I'm so in love with this thing that I could not, it'd be wrong for me not to share this with the people. That's your version of selling. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. And can you think of times where you've done that? Um, Like where I shared from my heart. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. Great. And how does that make you feel being in that role? Oh, so good. (laughs) because it's your natural genius and flow and do you notice when you're doing that do you what do you notice about the people that you're sharing it with they're just like yeah whatever okay let me shine yeah and do you um do you tend to see anything amongst the people that join you may have worded Um, that wrong When people are joining you, are you just going, oh, yeah, cool, and just putting them in a box, or are you naturally observing them? And, like, are you um, – do you look I've further – I've everyone, so. Yes. Okay. So that then yeah. comes back to the fact that you're a natural pattern seeker. So mm. um, you're speaking from your truth and your direct selling is your version of indirect selling, and naturally, without even thinking about it, you always are looking for patterns. Yeah. So pretty cool that we can measure your body and and have you actually be like, oh, look, we just did measurements on my body and it tells me that I'm actually doing the most incredible stuff to be in alignment with myself. (laughs) Yeah. So being that genius, is there anything, any of the topics in here that either of you in either of your section, in either of your profiles, is there something in here that you feel maybe you could align better with right now? 
Is there anything in that you feel you could set as a goal or as a alignment challenge for yourself to better serve your people? And sometimes that can just be going, oh, I didn't realize it was actually a skill of mine. Mm. So I didn't realize that I was so good at that. And then going, oh, I acknowledge that as a skill. So I can actually really start to utilize that now. I didn't even know I was good at it. Now that I do, I can really start to utilize that, which is a good thing about going through these as well. So even just then, Jody, you were like, oh, and both you and EJ went, oh, because I can see the pattern. <laughs> And you didn't even realize that you were doing it. And so yeah. in that context, when you acknowledge one of your really good skills, you can actually start to really utilize it and have faith that it's a strength of yours. Mm. Biological strength. You're born that way. Awareness is king. Mm. Queen. Joker. I think I'm up to now. <laughs> what awareness do you have, EJ, then? Is there any awareness that you have a newfound appreciation for? Well, I think this also links in with the projector, but um, it just reminded me when you were talking to Jody about, um, yeah, sharing from the heart. And um, yeah, I did a post recently about my Yoni. And um, yeah, today I got a payment of like over $600 of an affiliate money <clears throat> from the person that's uh, from Bonnie who's running the course, which didn't even, it wasn't even when I originally did the post, wasn't trying to sell anything because it wasn't an affiliate when I wrote the post. It was only after that, that she offered if I wanted to be an affiliate. So I was like, was not trying to sell anything. Didn't even know I could sell anything to share. And it was, it felt really good to share, inspired a lot of people. And like now I'm getting to do the Yoni journey with 10 of my friends as well. <laughs> who so, um, joined so it's um yeah really What's cool the so yoni journey? yeah i was gonna say tell me about this <laughs> yoni yeah. club she's, she's got a you get a hundred dollars discount with my code <laughs> um a three month yoni club journey um with bonnie bliss so she does a yoni mapping therapy oh um, bullshit she, oh okay. bullshit i need I'll to just... find out about that <laughs> i added her like two days ago because my friend told me yeah. about her well, she's already closed it, but she's opening it up for yeah. like for stragglers. So um, but this is the cheapest she will ever run the program because of Cowboy. Um, and then the next round will be going up a lot. So how yeah, much is it? Can... Um, so it's one hundred and twenty nine a month for three months, but then also with my code, you get a hundred dollars off. So. Um, so I think it would maybe be a hundred dollars a month or there is an upfront plan as well, mm. but, um, we're already in, we just started and, um, yeah, I'm really, and that's the, some of the stuff that I've been doing in the mornings is like mm. the and self touch. And, um, even though I know a lot of this stuff, it's like hearing new stuff and getting it from a different perspective and yeah. So it's, um, <clears throat> I'll send you, I'll send you the links anyway and you can have a look. So she was still, great. yeah, she's still taking yes, people please. in. But the next, but you can do the course anytime, but this round is just the cheapest it'll ever be. Cool. Yeah. Well, you know, I've always wanted to actually explore the Yoni mapping. That's something that you and I have talked about many, many times. Yeah. Yeah. I just ordered my wand too. Um, the special wand that's a surf of the cervix to, to release numbness and all sorts of stuff. So yeah. The reading I just had done told me that I need to stop with men and start focusing on myself again yeah good great come join me come and play with the, in the yoni club yay yeah, i love amazing. you said stragglers and i was like that's all the diplomats that were like i'm in overwhelm doing a million other things but i want to do it but i've got to see it and i have a lot yeah. of things going on because <laughs> <laughs> if you just do it in the mornings and then you're really really productive for the rest of your day yes i'm 100 percent keen on that sage we didn't hear what you said Yoni Club, not to be confused with Pony Club. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's all the connectors and activators. <laughs> <clears throat>
Oh, great. Well, I mean, this is what it's really about, guys, these weeks. Um, we have got recordings from the other coaching calls, and we will cycle back through these things again, but it's more about just getting you guys into these different sections and giving you an opportunity to, to see the patterns and see the, the way that these statements um, enable us to be more aware of our hidden genius and our hidden capabilities or just really give us newfound appreciation for things that we may have just overlooked before about ourselves and know that it's a natural given talent um not just a, another thing yeah um, and to see the integration of it all mm. as well. yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah i think next week's topics we've got we got next week don't know. I don't know if we've set them. We haven't, we haven't capped it out yet. We were just going to open it up to the group and see what they want to know about. And I think we might have a few new peeps in anyway, so we could probably rehash um, a few bits. Yeah. Which is beautiful. Inspired Impact, if there's anything you're reading in your sections that you feel a little bit stuck with or triggered with or like it's a bit heavy or hard to get through yourself, um, these coaching calls are the prime opportunity. Reach out to Sage or myself and just be like, oi, this section, help me nut it out. Like if it's food, if it's emotion, if it's mindset, if it's environment, um, planning, scheduling, we did one on that the other day. But if those are the things that you guys feel into and you're like, that feels hard to do on myself and be accountable to myself, then use these coaching calls as that opportunity to really um, eat the elephant one mouthful at a time with three brains. I think I'm a bit um, confused as to when these calls are. Are these set days or? Yeah, every Monday and every Thursday, 9 a.m. and 8 p.m. Okay, I can't do Mondays, but because that's Yoni Club. <laughs> oh. Only fortnightly. No, she does more than one a week, but um, she kind of, yeah, so that's only fortnightly anyway. So um, I can maybe I'll put it in here anyway. Cool. Perfect. And we'll try and put it in the group. Um, EJ, you're a part of the um, WhatsApp group. Jody, we do have a WhatsApp group that's purely just there for us to go, hey, here's the content to remember about so you're not getting flooded by Facebook. Sometimes it's just nice to have another way of receiving that information. So if you're happy for that, I'll grab your mobile yeah. number or seek you out in WhatsApp and add you to the group. Yep. We do have one person, Angela, who is in Colombia and has no Facebook social media. So she does communicate sometimes with her food and stuff. So that's probably the only like chitter chatter that really happens in there, apart from Sage and I going, Are you alive? You're dead, man, or you're still there. <laughs> um, so that's really just what that's for. It's not to bombard you guys. We don't want to give you guys a million things. You guys can see Facebook is constant. Um, so we just wanted to make sure you guys don't miss anything. Awesome. Cool. Any cool. questions? No, I haven't really had a chance to look at mine because I've been out all day. So I'm really excited to um, have a play around. Yay. Awesome. I was going to message you tonight and go, so what goals? Because today was just about information. If I had given you any more goals after our chat today, I was like, she's probably going to be like... <laughs> Um, so <laughs> I was like that anyway. <laughs> yeah. So I'll yeah. give you about two or three days and I'll check back in with you over the weekend while yeah. I'm moving things. Just be like, okay, cool. Have a read, have a digest. What's some, some little small goals you want to set. And it might just be, apparently I need to eat more leek. So I'm going to eat leek this week. Like <laughs> that's as simple as it can be. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, Thank awesome. you, angels. I appreciate all of you. Awesome. Have a wonderful rest of your evening, wonderful weekend, and we'll touch base with you early next week. Thank you so much, yeah. ladies. No problem. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. I want to do the Yoni course. Yeah, I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See you, ladies. Bye, beauty. Bye.